So you have built your Node.js app, the code is working perfectly on your machine, but now how do you get it live on the internet? If you're a developer, you know this is where the real head hack begins. You have to set up a server, manage security, configure a reverse proxy, keep it updated, and so on. And maybe you just want to code not to become a DevOps expert instead, but you would have loved to get the app public had it not been so complex, right? Today I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. We will take a Node.js app and get it live in just a few simple steps. To do this, we'll be using Cloudways and I will show you exactly how it's done. Moreover, there is a special surprise for you at the end of the video, so follow along and keep watching. I've been using Cloudways for some time and what I like is that they manage all the complicated server stuff for you. They handle the security, the performance, the backups, you just get a simple dashboard to work from. It's the perfect balance for developers who don't want to manage a server from scratch. We'll be following their guide to get our Node app running. If you want to follow along, they offer a 3-day free trial and you don't even need a credit card to sign up. And as a sponsor, they also gave me a discount code for you. All of that is in the description. Let's start. What is Node.js? To start, it's very important to understand that Node.js is not a programming language. It's a runtime environment. It's the engine that allows you to execute code. Historically, the JavaScript language was designed to run only inside a web browser to make websites interactive. Node.js changed that. It took the ultra-fast V8 JavaScript engine, the same one Google Chrome uses, and packaged it so you could run JavaScript outside of a browser, primarily on a server or your local machine. This simple concept is profound. It means developers can use JavaScript for the backend, the logic that handles data, interacts with databases, and powers the application, making JavaScript a real, full-stack language. The real power of Node.js comes from its architecture. It's asynchronous and non-blocking. Instead of having the server wait for one task to finish before starting the next, Node.js handles multiple requests simultaneously by listening for events. This makes it incredibly efficient and fast for applications that deal with lots of simultaneous connections, like chat apps or streaming services. Today we are going to use a simple Hello World script to demonstrate these core concepts, but keep in mind that these foundational ideas, the runtime, the event model, and the non-blocking nature, are what power every complex Node.js application you encounter. Let's start. To run our application, first of all we need an account on Cloudways, I will leave the link below, and we need to create a new server. We go on servers here, I already have one, yours might be empty, and then I click on add server. We select an application, Choose PHP, no worries, we'll use PHP to run a Node.js application. You can define an application name. I will type Live1 and also a server name. I can select a server here and a type of server. In this case, I think I will just go with the default configuration. I live in Europe, so I'll choose Amsterdam here, and now we can click on Launch Now. And this might require some minutes, so I'll be right back. Once we are done, we can start creating our application and then this will be deployed on this server. A server can have multiple applications. Here we can see our credentials, the public IP, the username and the password that of course is hidden, and we can deploy an application in different ways. In this case, I will just use SSH to log into the server and we will create everything directly on the server. There are other ways to do that, but uh, let's do this uh, approach for this example. Our goal again is to create a simple Node.js application and deploy it 
using Cloudways. Let me show you how you can do that. To login in our server we need the username, the IP and the password. So let's do it. SSH, the username, the IP. Here we type yes and then we can copy paste the password. The password will not be shown but if we hit enter after copy pasting or typing the password we should be inside the server. LS, then CD applications. Let's get into this directory that starts with SRN and we see here a public underscore HTML folder and for now we see just an index.php file. That's fine. We will type our own JavaScript file. So let's create it. Touch is the command to create a new file. MyApp.js. It should be there now. You can use different applications. In my case, I will just use a, sim a simple VI. You can open this in different ways. I'm used to use a VI in this case because I'm sure the, it's on every Linux machine. I copy paste the Node.js hello world example. This is a hello world of a server, by the way, not just a simple hello world of a Node.js application. You can see here we are using the port 3000 and we have a simple endpoint. So we should see this up and running on a public IP. We can close it with colon WQ, npm init dash Y to initialize a new npm project here in this folder. It's OK. We also need to install a simple framework. In this case, we'll use Express to run our application. But of course, this might work also with different uh, node frameworks, for example, Fastify. Now, a very important step is that uh, we need to configure the HT access file in the public HTML directory to route our app to port 3000. This is a very important step and this step is necessary on Cloudways. We should remove the index.php file from the public HTML folder and disable the directory index through this .htaccess file to run the app. I will leave a link below to this article so you can check this page. And a very important step is that before testing the application, you need to be sure that the mod proxy is enabled on your server. For this, you need to connect with the Cloudway support and they will help you to enable it very quickly. This happened also to me. If you have this mod proxy not enabled, you might see an error like this and the application might not work. So be sure that you do this follow step. I also got this one the first time I used it. And once your mode proxy is enabled, you should be good to go and your application should be ready to be deployed. Now we are ready to run our application. We can, for example, type node myapp.js. Server is running. Let's check it on an existing working example here. I'll use this one because I already enabled this with the help of the support. So I can show you the final result. And there we go. We have our application up and running. Now, this might be any Node.js application. Our goal here is just to deploy the Node.js application. But this is a working example. Before we wrap up, I want to show how you can use a PM2, Process Manager 2, to run our application. PM2 is a production-ready tool for managing Node.js applications. Maybe you already know it. Its primary job is to ensure your application remains running constantly and efficiently in a live environment like we have here. It does this by automatically restarting your application if it crashes, running it reliably in the background, and easily creating multiple copies clustering to utilize all CPU cores for better performance and scalability. In short, PM2 takes your basic Node.js app and makes it a robust, monitored and highly available service. So first of all, let's install PM2 on the server. I will leave the command below, a link to the existing article. 
it should be quick. We can type a pn2-v to check if this is already installed. In this case, we have version 6.0.13. Now, be sure to be in the correct folder. I need to be navigate again in my application, this x, y, x in my case folder, public HTML, and then we type pm2 start my app.js and we can see here the application up and running using pm2. That's very cool. Let's make a final check. Let's check the uh, public IP. And yes, our Node.js application is up and running using Cloudways. We made it. Now, if you've signed up for the Cloudways 3 days free trial, you will need to upgrade to a full account to prevent your server from being deleted when the trial ends. I'm going to show you the two primary ways to upgrade your account. The first and most common method is by adding a credit card. The second method is by using PayPal to add funds. Let's start with the standard method, using a credit or debit card. First, log in to your Cloudways platform. Once you're in the main dashboard, go to the top right corner and click on your profile name. In the drop-down menu that appears, select My Account. This takes you to your account settings. On the left-hand menu, click on Payment and Address. You will need to fill in your card address and billing address information here. Once that's done, you will see the billing information section. Enter your card number, expiry date, CVC and the name on your card. When you're done, click the blue Authorize button. Now, two important things will happen. You might see a temporary $1 authorization hold. This is just for verification and will be reversed. You will not be charged anything today. Cloudways is a pay-as-you-go service, meaning you are billed at the start of the next month for the resource you used in the previous month. Once your card is authorized, your account is upgraded and you're all set. The second method is upgrading via PayPal. This is a manual process, so the first step is different. You must first contact Cloudways support, either through live chat or by opening a ticket, and request a manual account upgrade to use PayPal. Once the support team confirms your account is upgraded, you can then add funds to your account, which acts like a digital wallet. The great benefit here is that you can add a lump sum and not worry about monthly payments. For example, you could deposit funds for 6 months of service. Here's how to add those funds once your account is upgraded. Log in to your account, click your profile name in the top right corner and select My Account. In your account menu, this time you will click on Fonts on the left. On the My Fonts page, click the blue Plus Add Fonts button. A pop-up will appear. First, enter the amount you want to add. Second, select your payment method, in this case, PayPal. Finally, click Submit. You will be redirected to PayPal to complete the payment. One last very important note. The fonts you add are used to pay for future invoices automatically. If you already have a pending or unpaid invoice, adding funds will not pay it. You must pay that existing invoice manually first. And just like that, our Node.js app is live. As you saw, we didn't have to configure any complicated server files or manually set up a proxy. We just installed our app, told Cloudways how to run it with PM2, and it just worked. And this is exactly why I find a platform like Cloudways so useful. I can focus on my code and it handles all the background tasks that keep the app secure and online. So a big thanks to Cloudways for sponsoring this video. If you're a developer who's tired of managing servers, I would really recommend giving them a try. You can check out that three day free trial to see if it's right for you. And what's also really helpful is that if you get struck anywhere using Cloudways, they have a 24-7 chat support, and if you have a bigger issue, their email support usually gets things fixed within 24 hours, which is pretty great. If you want to try it, the link is in the description, and don't forget to use my promo code to get a discount. Let me know in the comments what you thought or what you want to see me deploy next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.